How's it going guys? Today I'm going to give you my one month experience with the Pixel 5. I will be recording this video as well as the audio on the Pixel 5, just this talking headshot. So I guess it's kind of like giving you a vlogging experience. Now let's start off with the hardware. I really love it. The, the touch and feel of this phone is by far my favorite one out of any phone I've touched in the past few years. I really like the minimal look and the matte finish really helps with the fingerprints, meaning that I don't get any at all. Now I always use the case on this phone because I just like my phone super crispy and pristine. So for me, I just don't know or can't give you an experience of how well the back material scratches. Now for phone size, I'm um, sorry for the windiness. I hope you can still hear me, but I think it's a comfortable size. It's big enough to hold well in the hands and also it's a big enough screen to see everything so I think it's a good balance between both. For the fingerprint sensor it has been working great as always, really good placement, natural to use and so far it hasn't uh, failed me once. Now for performance everything I've done on this phone has been completely fine. Knowing me I'm a casual user so things I do like going on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, watching videos on YouTube or even messaging friends they all work flawlessly. I have played some games on this phone and it's been pretty smooth for the most part, but just expect that you can't play on the highest setting. Now for battery life, it has been amazing. It's the best one out of all pixels that I've ever used. Now here are some tips to give you better battery life from my experience. You want to turn off always on display, smooth display, and wake screen from notifications. With all of these on, I typically lose about 4-7% overnight, but ever since I turned all of these off, usually by 100% overnight, it would just stay 100% when I wake up or sometimes it would lose about 2% max, which is a big deal compared to 7. Now for the software, the Google UI is very easy to use. It's been super clean and if you do use the Google ecosystem, it's going to be better for you because you don't have any bloatware. It's one of my favorite UIs that I can recommend to anyone, but if you know you're the type of person that wants more options, then I'm going to lean you towards more the Samsung UI. Now for the camera, it's very solid. It's one of my favorite phones to so just pick up, point and shoot and I know it's going to look great. It's a worry-free phone for me because the software does a lot of things that really improves the image. And I really like the UI as well. I think it's better than all the rest of them in the past. It's just super simple and easy to use and I really like how when I'm shooting in um, dark time, the night mode just automatically pops up and I can easily turn it off if I wanted to. In the end, I think the Pixel is a very good phone to use or for the casual people who really wants a flagship phone but don't want every single flagship feature. I would say for the performance, it's good enough for most people out there. It's a great size phone with a solid camera. So if you do want a Pixel phone to use, the Google Pixel 5 might be the right one for you. If you want to see more content from me, please subscribe. You can find me on Instagram and don't forget to like and hit the bell. I do have the link down below if you want to check out the Pixel 5. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.